Hello everybody and welcome to Swords and Magic and Stuff. Now this is a game by uh, Kindred Games, thank you very much for the key, and they have sent me that in celebration of them releasing their Farm and Forge update. So before this game was very much just an adventure game and so to me it wasn't um, quite as interesting as the, like, the farming games I do, however with a farming aspect to it, that suddenly makes it she lab territory game. <laughs> Not that I don't play adventure games, but uh, it definitely added a little extra, uh, a little extra incentive to come in and play this one. So anyway, um, I am going in completely blind to this, just so you know. Just so you know, I haven't had any practice at all because I'm a bit worried that um, if I start a character on this that it might not let me reset my progress or anything like that. I'm I'm kind of looking at the kind of game it is. I think there's a chance that you might not be able to see character creation, although I can make five characters. But then if I go and do stuff with one character and then it saves and then I you do another character, I think that the same world, all the things you place still say the same and things like that. So I think it's probably just better that I tank the fact that I might not know quite as much what I'm doing to allow you to see everything that goes on and not to have things going on in the background that you've not seen. So that's why we're gonna, that's how we're gonna go with this one. So apologies if I derp on anything, it's basically what I'm trying to say. So we've got uh, a new character here, so I'm going to just make a new character. You can have a, let me just check it doesn't go up or down, no, um, a dryad, a human, a dryad, a sun orc, a moon elf, or a fawn. It's Mr. Tomness. I kind of feel like I want to be a fawn. It's so cute. I'll have to see what kind of hair you can have on a fawn. Can you have like whatever hair you want? You kind of can. Oh my goodness, that's cute. Oh yes. Okay, yeah, I think, I think. I think we are going to go with that and you can have all sorts of you can have like freckles and you can have like a slightly grumpier face with freckles strong and cute strong it's not not like too many stern experienced and cute experienced means you know how to pluck your eyebrows <laughs> experienced dastardly daring kind and cute oh it looks so cute I think I might go with curious and cute though. I do quite like that, those little little archy eyebrows better. You can also have a variety of really cool beards. Oh my goodness, it's so good. That braided beard. If I was a, a beard growing individual, that's the beard I would have. These are all the beards you can have. So obviously I I am not a I'm not a beard growing individual, so I will <laughs> I will leave that. I think it's kind of cute. You don't get, unfortunately, I don't think, uh, you have like a peachy color to your hair. I think, oh no, is that for the beards? Okay. For the hair, can we have peach? Yeah, you can have like a peachy color, like sort of a, but they're all very natural looking colors, which is a shame when you're like me and you, you like unnatural colors better. Um, I actually kind of like that. I don't know if the skin can have a different colour, I think it can, yeah. So I could go a little bit of a darker skin to have like a bit of a contrast between the hair and the skin. Or I could just go for quite light skin and then maybe go for like a darker coloured hair maybe. I don't know. Do I actually have, I, sh I I reckon if you're a fawn, they should uh, take your boots off and give you little proper hooves, so. I kind of do feel like that, like, that sort of red-headed look is, is nice. Um, I would love to see, I would love to see some purple hair in this game. But for now, we will be Shelab, the red-headed fawn, I think. Because oh, the brown hair just doesn't look as good, does it? No, I think she looks way better with like red hair. The other thing is we could have a couple of different other styles. So wispy, that is actually super cute as well. And it shows off the ears a bit better. I mean, puff tails, yeah. Or wispy, the little ears stick out the back, which is really cute. Don't like that, don't like that. Top knot, mm, no, it's too small. Spirit, it's like a ponytail, that's quite cute. 
buzzed brute bun with a bowl, <laughs> a bowl cut. Yeah, I should go with that, I think. No, I think I am. I'm going to go with either puff tails or wispy. I think I might go with wispy, actually. I think that looks quite good. Uh, then you've got all these different clothes. You can be like a farmhand, a peasant, an adventurer, an archaeologist, an explorer, a first mate, a recruit, a fisherman. That's so cute. An apprentice. That actually looks amazing uh, or an unfortunate. I'm actually going to go with apprentice. I really like that look on the fawn for some reason. It's so cool. So this is what we're going with. Going with this this kind of look. And I might maybe try and like specialise into magic. But as I say, I don't know how the game works yet. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see if there's any magic. No controller support at the moment by the looks of it. So we are going to be mouse and keyboarding it. I do like to um, alternate between games that have control of support and maybe play the old one with um, mouse and keyboard as well because um, I do find I get strain on my hands if I play too much of one or the other. Um, so, so I've got a little bit of a strain on my hand at the moment, which is why I'm not doing lemon cake right now because that's strainy on the hands. Um, so I'm not actually even... I, I know I said it was going to be a while before I even get back to that, but at the moment I can't even play it. So, Okay, let's have a, let's have a create. I have created SheLab. The fawn. Love it. So you've got multiplayer. You can have quite a few friends join you. I think... Uh, I'm not even sure how many, actually. Let's see if it tells me. So you can actually make like a little server. So I imagine you could probably have quite a few friends on this then, uh, by the looks of it. But I will be sing I will be single playing it because you know what I'm like. I have no friends. But honestly, also even if I did have friends, um, I it would be a lot more difficult to manage talking to you like as if you're here with me, and also, um chatting with other people so that would be quite difficult so it's me i look i feel very happy with who i am if you're a returning player reset your keybinds from the pause menu i am not so my keybinds are whatever um, i'm using right mouse to sort of turn my character and move around and uh, wasd to sidestep and things like that so that seems okay um, I don't know why I feel like I probably need to jump off this boat and uh, head across to the crabs on the other side. It seems to be. Uh, it doesn't give me much direction, so I'm just going to run and swim. So you can swim underwater. Okay. No, roll, roll around with left shift. Okay, so I can roll out the way of these guys. Okay, nice to know. Oh, I can do like a rolly double jump. And that gets me out of the way of the crabs, which might be really good for maybe a position for like shooting with an arrow or something like that. Um, I'm already thinking about tactical advantages. Like this keeps me out of the way of these guys. They don't seem to be able to go up onto the rocks. So that's awesome. It looks like there's a little camp up here. This might give me some more uh, choices. I could have been running straight into an enemy there. That, that guy looks like an orc. My goodness. Uh, so we've got Kelch, the weapons trainer, and Doug, the ship captain. So obviously this section of, uh, of game, we're, only, we're not going to be able to see the farm and forge stuff until I get to a certain um, place on the map, I think. I've got to do it, like, got to build some kind of ferry and go across to there. So uh, that's the thing. I'm allowed to, by the way, I'm allowed to show this to you guys on the 17th. Um, so I expect you'll get a, a video of some description of this on the 17th. Um, although I probably won't on the 17th be able to get to the, the forge and farm stuff. You guys, I believe, will be able to get it on the 22nd. So that the update will be um, open to the public at that point. Okay, so anyway. Now we've discussed timings, let's uh, have a chat to Doug, shall we, if we can. So it's F to talk, okay. Ahoy there, don't you worry, Shelab. Me and Sheldon are just fine. We landed uh, on my bed over there when the ship hit the rock. Oh, it's good that you're fine too. Cool. Well, I'm pretty hungry. Are you hungry? Sure you are. How's about you go down to the beach and get us some crab claws from those crabs? 
You probably want to grab yourself a stick down there too and hold it in your hand if you want to stand a chance. We need three fresh crab claws to fill our bellies. All right, I guess. Oh, take a few of these bandages with you, Sheila. They'll help keep you healthy while dealing with those crabs. Okay, so we'll have to see how difficult that is and whether I can maybe dodge out the way and all that sort of thing. I'm going to talk to the weapons trainer first though because I imagine that will help. Um, I haven't seen a storm like that in years. Glad to see you're okay, Shelab. You still remember all that training I gave you on the ship, right? So you can defend yourself here in Tirowin. Uh, Uh-oh, you must have knocked your head pretty hard. Well, I can teach you the basics again if you want. It'll come in handy, I'm sure. Who knows what else lives here on this little island? Sure. Okay. First step is going to find yourself some sort of weapon. I'd give you one of mine, but I don't want you to hurt yourself. Let's start out slow. See if you can ford uh, sorry, forage a stick or a branch from the beach. Okay, let's go down to the beach trying to avoid these crabs because I think they might be they might be mean so let's just go and see if we can grab a stick okay it looks like this is one of these games where it's going to be really specific about where you stand to pick something up it kind of showed up with a there we are F to take lovely so I now have a stick wonderful now this crab over here seems to be kind of on his own but let's just go back and just take this slowly, I guess. Did you do find something to fight with yet, Sheila? Just anything you can swing around should do fine for now. Okay, well, I've got a branch. Maybe I need to equip the branch into a hot slot. Um, set main melee hand. Set main melee hand. Set main, main range hand. Okay. Oh, where did my stick go? No! I don't know what, what that's all about, but, um, okay. So, I press one, I've got my stick in my hand. Hopefully that'll be enough. Did you find, uh, will this work? There we are. It'll have to do. Now, you may have noticed that a chunk of wood, there was a bit, sorry, that, that, you may have noticed that that chunk of wood there was a bit unwieldy at the start. Yes. That's because you don't know enough about how to wield a mace like that to use it to its fullest potential. I'll tell you what, you take that weapon of yours and practice using it on a few of these crabs around this island. If you prove to me you've uh, learned a few tricks and gained some experience with it, I'll give you a real weapon. I'm on it. Great. Once you've learned to use a specific type of weapon better, it'll get easier to use and eventually be far more useful in combat. And the better you're able to do in combat, the faster you'll learn more about it. Some weapons are just not as good as others. Eventually, no matter how good you get at maces, that stick of yours is going to be useless against stronger monsters in Tyrowin. You'll want to be on the lookout for an upgrade once your skill level surpasses the potential for the weapon you're using. Understand? Yes. Good. Now get out there and start practicing with that stick. Come and see me once you've learned a few things. Oh, and don't forget, the more you use a type of weapon in real combat, the better you get with it. Okay. You got it. Right, so this crab here. I don't necessarily like the uh... okay lost a little bit of health there it does definitely seem to be along the lines of the I think you can okay it seems like a really slow uh, not too bad I suppose and maybe with a stronger weapon uh, so let's grab those crab claws and I need to get three so I need to uh, kill one more crab Um, you'll do. And I'm not really dodge rolling either, so I probably should be doing that, but I'm being a bit lazy. Mm, I think the range on like the pickups needs to be a bit larger. You've got to be in a really specific place to pick things up. Okay, so uh, I want to give you the crab claws. Make some dinner for us. Did you get those three crab claws? Me and Sheldon are hungry. Oh, and I bet you are too. I do like the um, the UI though. It's really easy on the eye. Although the moving is a little disconcerting. I got them. Aha, thanks, Sheila. I knew I could count on you. Let me cook these up real quick. 
Hot hot hot. All right, here you go. Steaming, sorry, a hot steaming crab claw fresh off the fire. Give it a taste. It'll keep you hearty. Let me know what you think. Okay, bye. So I imagine, yeah, so I think it's probably a little bit the body and a little bit the claws for, for crab meat. I know with lobsters, it's all claw and tail. You don't really want to eat like a lot of the rest of the lobster. Okay, so I need to use a cooked crab's claw. So can I eat from the inventory? Yes, I can. And it looks like it might have given me a permanent boost. A little bit like how we're seeing in um, Sunhaven at the moment. You're getting permanent boost from certain foods. It looks like my health went up there. So I've got 60 plus 15. Whether that whether that plus 15 is uh, like temporary or permanent, it might be that it's only for a certain amount of time. But okay, I have done that. Captain. Okay, well, what did you think? Pretty good, eh? It was good. Yeah, darn right it was. Say, me and Sheldon are feeling pretty parched after that. I take it Sheldon is the turtle. Um, I'm sure you are too. If only we could get some of the coconuts from those palm trees. Oh, I know. Why don't you take that stick of yours and gather up three oak wood and I'll make us a slingshot. Just look around for big logs on the ground and whack them. All right. Let's go and talk about the crabs with the weapons trainer as well. Show me what you've learned. I'm still practicing. Oh. Let's have a look at, um, let's see if there's like a quest log or something. L maybe? Nope. Because he said to practice with the, the crabs and stuff, so I, I don't know what's going on there. Right, collect oak logs. Now it looks like these are oak logs. Give it a whack. Ah, perfect. There's one. And then I need to get in my exactly perfect location. I will get more used to where I have to stand to pick things up as I as I go along, I'm sure. our third one very nice yeah you just have to not move i think after you uh, after you whack it right so i got my oak logs apparently we can just walk through fire in this game okay did you get that wood for us yet shelter's looking really thirsty here's the wood aha i'm with these rubber bands i found now pay attention so you can learn how to make your own i have learned a recipe here we are, a genuine slingshot. Take this and see about shooting down two of those coconuts up in the palm trees. Here, you'll need some stones too. All right, so we do have ammunition. While you do that, I'll stay here to keep Sheldon company. Okay. I need to equip both the weapon and the ammo to use it, so. Um, well, he said that there was something that he gave me some stones, but I am not seeing them in my inventory. Sheldon. I think I might just end up using like a lot of slingshots and ranged weapons in this, honestly. So, you know, maybe I won't need to dodge as much then. We'll have to see. Yeah, I still don't entirely get what I'm meant to be doing with that quest, though. I'll keep doing these uh, these quests. How's it coming with those coconuts? Here we are. All right, let me just poke some holes here, and there we go. Some refreshing coconut milk. Go on then, give it a sip. It'll keep you healthy. All righty. So let's have a sip on the coconut. Oh, I guess a straw in it. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> a nice refreshing coconut with a straw stuck in it. Wait, where did the straw come from? We will never know. Okay, so let's 
so we've done that that bit now so let's have a chat to the captain nothing like a refreshing bit of coconut milk eh? anyway i think it's about time you went and checked on sen oh and now that we have more than one weapon you should really think about keeping them somewhere you can get to quickly you should see if sen needs any help now that sheldon and i are nice and full okay so you're kelch are you are you, are you sen no you're reina and you're a blacksmith okay I'm gonna kill a few more of these crabs, right? And I'm gonna see if I can, uh, if I can get the trainer to give me a proper sword or something. Okay. A clamshell, nice. I'm gonna roll a lot because I'm used to shift being run. I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but yeah, I don't hundred percent get what I'm supposed to be doing here. With the weapon trainer. This is my quest. Branching out. Reach level two in mage skill. Kelch offered me a real weapon. If I can prove to him, I know how to handle a mace. Oh, mace skill. Right. Right. Okay. This is better. Okay, so you can see all my quests and skills and... Oh, brilliant. Okay, I've got it now. Mace level one. Okay, so if I just run around hitting things, eventually I'll get a nicer weapon. Perfect. Okay, we may as well go and find Sen then, whoever Sen is. I crouch, sneak around the sea. So it looks like the coconut juice might give me a bit of regeneration. Wait, oh, yeah, I am regenerating. I don't know if that's from the coconut juice or if you get a natural regen. But I definitely need to be boofing these guys with my with my club. So I can get like a way better club. But yeah, on this starter island, just whack just whack everything you can. So this looks like a kind of rock that will probably move out of the way and let me out of here. But I probably need to do some questing first. So here's Sen. Hey Sheila, thanks for helping out the captain. He was driving me crazy talking about crab claws and coconuts. What happened? Oh, you must have hit your head pretty hard. We were on our way to Tirowin to start a new adventure together, but this crazy storm came out of nowhere over our ship. It really threw us around, and we landed square over... Sorry, we landed square on that big rock over there. Now we've got to find a way off this island. We must be close to Azura Island, which is part of Tirowin. We can probably catch a ride to the mainland from there. How can I help? Well, I found these symbols in this big stone door over here, and I think we can get it open if I can just decipher them. I bet we can get it open... Uh, I bet if we can get it open, we can find a way off the island, hopefully a way that doesn't require much swimming. Inside that chamber must be something we can use to open this door. And a big crab? That's probably not important. Go take a look around. I'm on it. Okay. Zero One is full of secrets and you'll have to look carefully to find them. Oh, I'm screwed then. <laughs> Sun switch. Seems like something might fit in this space. Okay. Also, there's a chest up there. It doesn't look like I can quite get up there. Alright then. Might be a way around over the top, possibly. There's also a drawing here that says... Boof... Something... Hot dog... Man with a crab... I think that might be telling me how to get up onto the rock. Lure the crab over to this rock with hot dogs and then you can jump up and get the chest. Is that what it's saying? I think so. I need some coins. Oh, it's just like Hyrule. <laughs> you, you've got to make the link jokes, haven't you? Might as well just grab everything I can. I don't know if it adds to my club skill. Hoping it does. Hmm. 
Hmm. There's definitely stuff up the top there. I would like to explore. Big old ledge there, look. Okay, I tried. Haha. -ha. Parkour she love go. Can I get onto this tree? Kinda. Okay. I might be able to parkour up the tree if I'm skilled at it. I'm a little bit stuck now. Oops. Right, let's get a little bit less stuck. Get up right into the tree. Nice, I can. There's someone's like campsite over there. So I reckon if I can jump over here. Oh, I'm loving it. Oh no. Okay. Is this the end? She labs parkour awesomeness. I think it might be because that looks like it goes into the sea. Well done it. Oh no. Ow. Owie. Well, there's definitely ways you can jump up onto things here. Might be a bit far. Let's see if I can like. No, I can't run up that slope or anything. Okay. Good to know. Is there stuff in here that I didn't pick up yet? I think there is. Yeah. So what did I get there? A cubic source, a source of magical power used to charge ancient technology. What? There's ancient technology? Oh my goodness me. It's getting towards night time though. I don't like night time. Trying to look at how I might get places. I think that's a bit too difficult of a jump for me, anyway. Mm. But I do need to open the door, so let's just break all the pots. Get all this stuff. Try and work out what I need to do here. Is that maybe like... as a lever somewhere? Could that be the beehive? Yeah, I'm being really dense, I think, with uh, what, what it all means. Something in that bush. As 
the secret lever. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, probably don't really want to. I don't want to leave that open. All right, so there might be a secret under underground way in. And lots of stuff. Let's uh, see. How's my inventory doing? I'm thinking I probably have. One, two, three, four, five, time, five times five, maybe 25 slots. I don't know if I can get bags and things maybe later to make it a bit easier. We'll have to see. Oh my goodness. I'm going to start off with my slingshot. Ancient crab, no! Time for the stick. Okay, he hasn't quite killed me yet. Yeah! I think I got my... Whew. Okay, so ancient crab is out of the way. Did he drop anything? I need to know. Did he drop anything, ancient crab? I don't think he did. Oh, yes, he did. A giant crab claw and a starfish. Graham's adventuring log. Okay, day one. I finally convinced Bonnie to lend me a boat so I could explore the island. I can't believe I'm finally here. I really wish I'd thought about bringing a ladder, though. Those rocks were not easy to climb. Day two. I set up camp in this ledge overlooking the island. It's smaller than I thought, but that doesn't mean there isn't treasure to be found. I'm going to stow some of my gear here. This big old mallet I made is heavy. Oh, a heavy mallet. Okay, that's probably in the chest at the top. I found a lever that seems to open a secret hatch. I hear a clicking sound from the inside. I wonder what it is. I go to explore it first thing in the morning. Oh. You got eaten by the giant crab, I think. Poor Captain, poor Graham. I don't think he's even a captain. He's just a Graham. Oh, a pearl. Oh, very nice. Got a chest over here. Full of coins and power cubes. And a funky looking chest here. With ancient artifact in it. Well, that would be what I was looking for. Okay, cool. So, yeah, it's all, it actually feels pretty intuitive. I mean, as I say, like, um, if it's expecting me to find little secrets and things, I, so far the secrets haven't been too awful, though. Probably miss loads of stuff. But I'm not the, the world's greatest puzzler. If you stick me in an area for long enough, I generally work the puzzle out. It just sometimes takes a while. Okay, let me go. And if I see to crouch through the door thing. And I now have a artifact to open this door. Perfect. Okay, so then we're done. We've done it. Hey, the door's open. Nice work, she lab. You should head through and see what's up there. I'm going to stay here for a bit and see if there's anything else on this little island worth writing about. If I don't catch up with you, we should meet up in Hope Harbour on Azura Island. I think it's pretty close by. What an adventure already. See you later, Sen. So I'm pretty sure that when I, um, yeah, when I beat up the, the dude, the crab, right? Well, I probably need to get a coconut or something. My health's a bit low. Um, maybe I, I don't know if I know how to make coconut drinks to get my health up though maybe i do maybe i can maybe i'll be able to work it out soon okay oh yeah sorry it wasn't you i wanted to see it was you because i am now at level two in maces how's this 
Well, I'll be. You were listening. Great work. Sheila, you're a natural. Now, as I promised, your reward. What kind of weapon are you interested in? Pole arms, bows, daggers, or swords? I would say swords. Ah, yeah, you seem the type. All right, I should have known. Here you go, then. Thanks, Kelch. So it's a, a practice sword, which is much better than I had before. So um, a flimsy wooden sword, level zero out of three, damage one, speed one second. Whereas this one is a stick. So the flimsy stick is a uh, mace level two out of one. Oh, okay, so it has leveled up as I've been using it. Damage one to two. Uh, 85%, speed one second. Critical 15%. Oh, so this will do critical hits now. And so it's a wooden sword, but it seems marginally better. I got a key to a copper chest. I haven't seen any copper chests yet, though. Um, so I'm thinking that maybe I can jump up from the other side of the door. An augment stone. Okay, can I just augment like that? Or like... Can I... Do I need to... I probably need to be at some kind of crafting table or something to do that though. I'd imagine. Hasn't taught me crafting yet though. However, there is a blacksmith over here. Maybe if I talk to them, I might learn a little bit about crafting. Hello again, traveller. Glad to see you're not too shaken up after that crash. I knew something like this would happen. I knew I shouldn't have got on that ship. No point on dwelling on the what-ifs. Can I help you somehow? Who are you again? Oh yes, I suppose we weren't properly introduced during the vol... Voyage, sorry. I'm Raina. I'm a moon elf blacksmith from the Sunfall Desert. I boarded that ship on the shores of Sunfall on a journey to find moonstones. Moonstones? They're ancient stones my people once used to forge beautiful weapons. They're very difficult to smelt from. It takes an intricate moon forge and a skilled smith to craft weapons from them. Can you teach me? To smelt with moonstones? Probably not, friend, but I could teach you a few things to get you started. Here, let me show you the basics. Feel free to use this makeshift workstation here to get started. If you need something more, you'll have to travel to Hope Harbour. Okay. Well, that was nice. That was nice of you to let me have a little look at... Uh... So I can make a flint arrow and a sapling bow and a crude bowstring. Okay. So I need five oak planks. To make oak planks, I need one... Okay. It would be really nice to make uh, a bow rather than a slingshot. Slingshot's still pretty good. And how do I make a bowstring out of some cotton? I don't have any cotton. So until I can find some cotton, um, I can't really do anything like that with that, I'm afraid. So I think that we should probably just head off and see what we can do adventuring-wise. With my sword. I'm just going to put the sword into... It was kind of weird that it was like, hey, you need... Uh, you need. Well, actually, no. Because there are bows and arrows. But it seems like you don't actually need stones for the slingshot. Why is that not... Why is that not open? So, oh, I should just... Yeah, so now I can just walk around the back here. So I was, like, trying my hardest to get up there. And it just... That wasn't even what I needed to do at all. Okay. Perfect. So what have we got? Some coin. Ah ha 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 ha! A bow! I love it. I love it so much. Okay, so now I've got a bow. What I might want to do is go back to the blacksmith and make some arrows. So that I can do a little bit of, like, bow and arrow stuff. So I imagine it's the same. It's just like... Oh, yeah. Doesn't look like I need arrows. I am a bit confused. If I want to say shoot at that beehive, right? That seems fine. Oh, I'm covered in bees! I'm getting the honeycomb. If I had to, if I had to survive being covered with bees, then I definitely want the honeycomb. 
Can I sleep anywhere? I need I need a bed. This is super fun. Hello, grab. Mysterious instructions, page one. Step one, fasten the combobulator to the suspension grabber using a sprocket tensionator. If your sprocket tensionator is made of copper, be sure to have a bucket handy. Clyde. This is definitely my kind of game. Definitely. I should probably be chopping down these uh, these woods here and collecting them up. So as I can have like crafting materials. Okay, so we have found another cat. Oh, there's a ladder. Ooh, what's up here then? An anchor shrine. A, pa a place of strong spirit magic used to bring the dead back to life. Cool. So is this where I go if I die? Now I have now I have found it. Oh, look, there's a whole, like a whole path up here. I should probably go to that camp, though. Firstly. Oops. Full damage. Full damage, she lad. There is full damage. Ash. Oh, whoa. Did you get that door open? I gave up on that years ago. Well, so this is... If you feel bad about... Um, <laughs> about not immediately spotting the little hole in the greenery where you go to find that lever, then uh, Ash will make you feel good. Ash is also a fawn. Years? Yep. Came up here while exploring a few years back and the door just shut. After that, I took up wood carving. Oh, actually, I like collecting stuff. And I don't really have much use for gold. If you want, I'll give you some of the gold I have with me in exchange for any stuff you find. Ah, merchant. Then you can give me the gold back in exchange for some of these super cool weapons I've carved. Awesome. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, let's, let's sell. So you have coconut drink, which is plus one to recovery. So it looks like you get a certain amount of um, time. So I could buy some coconut milk, absolutely. Or, no, that's my inventory, sorry. The merchant has nothing. Why have you got no stuff? What kind of rubbish merchant are you? Seriously. See, my inventory's getting kind of full. So I think what I should probably sell is my slingshot. Because I have now finished with that and my flimsy stick. There we are. Um, I don't know what what I would do with all the crab claws and shells and things like that. So I'm kind of thinking I might want to keep hold of them, honestly. Oh, I've, I've, got, I've got food and stuff left, like coconut milk and cooked crab claw. Wow. Didn't realise that. A sapphire, a rare gem, a merchant would probably pay a pretty penny for it. So is that trying to tell me that, that, that you should sell it? Right, I'll come back to you if I uh, if my inventory gets too full or whatever. I don't know uh, exactly. Okay. There's another ladder up. Oh no, that is the ladder that I was at before. So up here seems to be seems to be the way to go, pretty much. Ah, oh no. Unless you're me and you can't do anything and you're rubbish and you ah, okay. <laughs> Let's just go this way. Let's have a good look around. I really need something better to chop up wood with, though. Yeah, I'm a lot of fun with this, actually. Finding lots of stuff. Oh, okay, so there's a chest up there. So what I'm thinking is double jump onto here. Oh, it might take a look, take me a second to do. And then up there, perfect. And I've got another augment stone, wonderful. Whack that. Pottery open, there's also a bag of gold down there, wonderful. Right, so I've got quite a lot of gold already, which is quite nice. Let's just follow the road up. Hello, Clyde the Tinkerer. 
Oh, hi, I wasn't expecting to see anyone up here. Say, you weren't out on that ship, were you? That was quite the storm. You're lucky you made that out alive. Can you help me? Help you get off the island? Hmm, well, I could use a bit of help myself with my current project. You help me out, I'll get you off the island and over to Azura safely. You could always jump out, but that's a long way down. <laughs> okay. Oh, you could always jump, but that's the long way down. Yeah. Sure. Great. I almost had this contraption working yesterday when a gust of wind blew all my notes down the hill. I need you to find all three pieces of my notes and bring them back here. They could be anywhere, so keep a sharp eye. No problem. When you're out there, grab some wood and honeycomb. We need that next. You can borrow my chopping axe. Just don't lose it. Okay. Wonderful. We now have an axe. Aren't these people so helpful? They are so helpful. I guess I need to shoot it then. From afar so the bees don't get me. I'm going to go get the honeycomb. There's also a log here. So let's see how much better this axe is. Quite a lot better. <laughs> Would be the answer to that one. Alright, I definitely saw one page of notes. Oh, it looks like there's a page here too. Turn the hemispherical widget six times clockwise. If you turn it uh, counterclockwise, you'll end up with a warped dingbat. And that's never good for you. Watch him call it. Watch him call it. I approve of this game. Because it knows what a whatchamacallit is. Did I pick up the note that was like down here? I think so. However. There are things to get. Um... Shoot me down a beehive. Pile of dirt. Maybe there's something hidden here. Sugarcane seed. Oh, for farming. Okay, so we've got quite a few honeycombs now. I found quite a few beehives. We found, um, I think, two of the three. This is tough. Um, I found two of the three notes, so I need to find the third one. I wonder, though, if there's a... a way to pin track quest. There we are. That's better. So when I've got things that I'm particularly working on, like this one at the moment, I want them pinned, so... That is perfect. I've got a critical hit on my axe there, look. Oh, another dirt. Some strawberry seeds. Oh man, I'm gonna have a, an inventory full of seeds and I bet you'll have no inventory space. I promise you that. I wonder where the third one is. I mean, honestly, the first one was as I came in, then the second one was like towards the tinkerer. So I'm imagining that page three might have got lost after that. It might be up around here then maybe it makes it makes sense wow look you can see all the way back in fact you can see all the way across that looks like that looks like the starter island maybe woohoo i don't really want to go back down there well, I'm not seeing your your third page, mate. I'm sorry. Don't know where it is. If I were a piece of paper, where would I be? Trying to get some height because sometimes that helps me to see things. 
from a different perspective, you know? Now, there is also nothing to say that page three is not back in the um, other section. Oh no. Please don't say I'm stuck now. Is it super easy to get stuck in this game? Because I think I might be stuck. I need to drown myself or something, I don't know. Ah. Or maybe I need to swim back around. Because you can just swim, so that's that's great. Um, I could just swim to the shoreline, honestly. I know that there must be at least one way to get back in. Trust me to do this. Trust me to get stuck in the water. And not be able to get myself out again. I don't know how to get back up. It looks like I might be able to get back up there. Let's see if I can jump up. No. Man! This is terrible. I'm all the way back at the start. <laughs> I guess this is just what happens when... <laughs> well, at least I can I can look around for the note from the very, very start now anyway. So, oh yeah, this would be the first anchor shrine then. I was too, too busy being scared. A crude shield? What? Let's equip that then. In my right hand. Give me my shield. So I... Okay, so I could have been doing that the whole time. Yay! Luckily, I'm kind of good at boofing things anyway. Um, so, yeah, where is it likely to be? I think it should probably all... They, sh they should all be in that same area. I mean, as far as I can tell so far. But, you know what I haven't done is checked out that camp. I bet I can do that from the other side. I know, this is where I take, like, forever doing these things, but... I want to check out the camp. And to do that, I think I have to. I do have to go this way, but I have to be careful not to fall off. So I think it'd be this way. Maybe, maybe at the corner that dips down there. Maybe go out, go out and sort of jump up there. Oh, it annoys me. This is how I ended up falling down the first time. Grr, ow, that hurt. So how am I meant to get up there then? Because that's how I'm going to get to that little camp across the way. Is surely by going across all these rocks here. So... Mind you, I should probably be actually just looking for the note. Might be down here somewhere. You never know. Yeah, there it is. Remove the gizmo spindle from the suspension bank. Don't forget to spindle your struts or you may lose a finger. Clyde. Oh. 
Right, so yeah, I was trying to get, there's like a little camp down there, but I can't get to it just now. And I'm very curious, because I'm a very curious person. As to whether I can get to that camp. But it rather irritatingly looks like I can't. Okay, so we've gone through the night now. I wonder if I can jump from one to t'other there. Take a run up or something. Oh, I think I know. Go across the trees! dying doing this. No, I think I think I'm onto something. I think I'm onto something. I just didn't quite execute it right. <laughs> okay, and up here and then across the trees. thinking to that one. Oh! Can I climb up them? I kind of can. Oh, that was annoying because I was so close. Okay, one more try and, and then and then I'll leave it if I can't do it. I promise. My promises mean nothing. Because there was a camp and it had goodies. And I cannot leave them. If I've got an idea of how to get to them, but I just haven't quite executed it right. Oh, here we go. Haha, hmm. <laughs> I did it. There better be good stuff down here. Well, there's a chest, so that's good. An iron chest. And it has money and more money. A breakable container. But yeah, I like that you can do things like jump on the trees. I think that's really, really cool. So I think we're going to go and turn in the quest to the Tinker, and that's probably going to be the end of the episode for now. And I'll probably do another one, because it's really cool, this. And I want to get onto the farm and forge uh, content as well. I want to show you guys all the farming, because that's what you're here for, right? Farming! That's what we're all here for. Let's just uh, give that in. Hello, my tinkerer friend, Clyde. Well, any luck with those missing notes? Here they are. Perfect, nice work, assistant. You'll be a full-fledged tinkerer before you know it. Next, we just need some materials. Wood and honeycomb. Scattered all around the island. Shouldn't be too tough to find. I've got the materials, too. Great, I can start tinkering on this contraption right away. While I'm finishing this up, you should make sure there's nothing else you want to do around here. It won't be easy getting back up here if you ever want to come back. I think I am at the point now where I have completely explored everything I want to explore here. So I think I'm pretty good. So I am going to end the episode here and say goodbye to you all. And then next episode, we are going to, uh, we are going, uh, so if we actually just go, all right. And we end the episode here. I'm going to, I'm going to face you, Clyde next to me and everything in the background. I think we're going to have some lovely thumbnails from this as well. It's amazing. It's such such a pretty game. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode and having a quick look at uh, Swords and Magic and stuff. Hopefully next time we'll get more into the game and in the next few episodes we'll manage to... Uh, I will be very much beelining towards the new content. And uh, then if you guys still like it, 
uh, once we've explored the new content, the, the, the farming and everything. Once you've had a good look at that, if you want to see more, then if you, you like it and you engage with it, then we will continue. So I hope you did enjoy, and if you do, please do leave me the like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.